Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson again, and we are now on our fourth grade Florida Go Math lesson 1.4, which is about rounding numbers. Okay, so today I'm going to show you in our book the two ways that it's going to test you on rounding numbers. The first way is it's going to give you a problem like these here on my page, where it underlines a number and asks you to round it to the place value of the underlined digit. So it already underlines it for you. The second way that they're going to ask you to round is they're going to, instead of underlining, they're going to write out the place value that you need to round to. So for example, they may give you the number 791 and the problem will say, round 791 to the nearest hundred. Well, you're going to need to be able to find the hundreds place in, in your mind or on your page, underline it so that you know which number you're going to round. So first step, they're going to underline it for you. Then they're going to make it a little bit harder by taking away the underline and they're just going to say the name of the place value that they want you to underline. So hundreds or tens or ones or thousands, ten thousands, and so on and so forth. So we're going to practice first this first way here where they've already underlined it for us. And then we maybe do, we'll do a couple on our own where they haven't underlined anything and we're going to just say it and underline it ourselves. Okay, so number two here says, well, the directions say round to the place value of the underlined digit. This number is 934,567, and they have the four underlined. So when we're rounding, we're going to ignore anything that's in front of the underlined number for now. We're going to look to the right of the underlined number. And if that number that the arrow points to is a five or higher, so five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we're going to make the four go up. When it goes up, after a four would be a five. So it would change to a five. Now, if the number that the arrow points to or the number to the right of the underlined number is less than a five. So a four, a three, a two, a one, or a zero, then our underlined number would just stay the same as it is. So looking at this number, we see that next to the four is a five. Five or higher, our number goes up. So that four is going to change to a five. Everything after the underlined number will always become a zero. So I have three things after the underlined number, so I'm going to have three zeros. Now, this 93 that we were ignoring, now's the time where we write it back in. So rounding 934,567 to the nearest thousand gave us 935,000. All right, let's try this one. We have 641,267. I'm going to look next door. I see I have a one next door. That's less than my five. So when I have a number that's less than my five, my underlying number stays the same. So my four is going to stay the same. Everything after it becomes a zero. I have one, two, three, four things after it. So I'm going to have four zeros. And then I go back and remember to put my six back in front. So I have 640,000. All right, we're going to try another one here. 234,890. I look next door to my two, I have a three. A three is less than a five, 
So my number is going to stay the same. So two stays the same. Everything after it becomes a zero. So after my two, I have one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to have five zeros. Three, four, five. Put my comma in there, and that makes 200,000. Okay. I think that's enough of those kind. Now remember I told you there was the second kind where they just tell you in words what place they want you to round to. So I'm gonna make up a number. I'm gonna pretend that we have 2,536. And they want us to round to the nearest thousand. So I'm gonna find my number that's in the thousands place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, and I'm going to underline it just like that was done over here. So now, same process. I look next door. I have a five. When I have a five or higher, it makes my underlined number go up. So after a two is a three. Now I count how many numbers are behind my underlined number. One, two, three. And I put one, two, three zeros. So 3,000. Now what if they asked us to round that same number, 2,536, to the nearest hundreds place? Well, I gotta find my hundreds first. Ones, tens, hundreds. In the hundreds, I have a five. I underline it. I look next door. Next door is a three. It's under a five, so my number stays the same. So my five will stay the same. After my underlined number, I have two spaces, two other numbers. So I've got to put two zeros there. And then I've got to remember to come back and put the number that's in front back in front. So my two's got to go back in front. So 2,536 rounded to the nearest hundred is 2,500. What if it said 2,536 rounded to the nearest ten? I find my ten. Ones, tens, I underline it, I look next door, next door is a six. A six is higher than a five, so it's going to make my three go up. My three goes up to a four. I count how many spaces I have after my underlined number. That's one space, so I put one zero. And then I got to remember to go back and write the two and the five in front. So if I was rounding 2,536 to the nearest 10, it would be 2,540. All right, so that is lesson 1.4. Hopefully you know how to round some numbers now. And if you still have any questions, just go ahead and leave me some comments. Thanks.